So hi and joining us on midday.com we have the cast of the very interestingly titled Stars Bahu or Flamingo so please welcome Angira Isha Ashish and Udit hi hi hello so first let's start with the title what was your reaction when you heard it considering the first half of the title Stars Bahu so if there was any other director directing it it would be no okay, care on what he or she is trying to make but the moment you associate a name Homi Adajania with that there is going to be a spin around it. Absolutely. There is going to be something which is damn quirky, damn tangential. And we were just dying to read the script. And the moment uh, we read it or he narrated it to us, uh, it was it. Like we were just hoping and praying that everything goes smoothly and we match to whatever that was written on paper or probably accentuate it and just live up to all these expectations. Initially, we were all pretty bummed out that we can't keep the title, obviously, uh-huh. because it had a nice, you know, oh, wow, what is that? What, that? what does that mean? Is, is, it, is it this? Is, you know, I, I don't know if we can talk about it. But uh, but when they changed it to Sasbo or uh, Flamingo, I think I was pretty happy about it. And somewhere we had all discussed it also because there was a time we have a group chat on WhatsApp and Homi had just sent out a message saying, okay, now we're changing the title, give give ideas. So I think all of us, one of us actually did give an idea, I remember who it was. And um, and actually when, when they did change it, I thought it was a it was a very cool thing to do because it does have a ring to it. I want to know what, what that is. And uh, I, I, I think it's new. It's a new, uh, you know, to be used. Uh, in 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 the ter- in terms of the world that that Sasbo and Flamingo is based in, so I think it kind of goes with it. Yeah, the title definitely is so intriguing for everybody, and everyone was curious. Still, we of course saw the promo. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, actually, like flamingo is a bird to change its color. Flamingos are actually white, but when they eat the algae, they turn pink. And so the characters, they keep changing colors. Good interpretation also. And uh, of course, from uh, you know, the trailer, we've seen all the badass women in the trailer. And of course, the men have an important part too. So please tell us about you know your roles. Like what was your uh, first reaction when you all got to know about your, each of your parts? It was like, this person is not me. How has Omi casted me in this? I was very surprised. But again, Omi trust, trusted me with this part. And I was like, I have to do justice to it somehow. And it was a very great experience for me. My uh, character is, he is very loyal to Rani Ba uh, and he handles the distribution of this whole cartel. He's an outsider, but still uh, he's treated like an insider and he's part of the family only. Baki, there's a lot of surprises. My reaction was, Homi, better cast me because I know I can do Bijli damn right well. <laughs> I was like, I want to do Bijli. I want to be <coughs> cast as Bijli because it's a great opportunity. To explore because Bijni is quite a, it's a very measured, very, you know, very headstrong, very assertive, calculative, that kind of a woman. She doesn't get along too well with her husband. And uh, she has like all these deep, dark secrets that she will not spill. Of course, she takes care of this huge empire and she, you know, runs it with Kajal and Raniba and, and the Beti. So I think the dynamics were very interesting. I don't think, uh, I, I think OTT gives us, you know, this script in actually in particular gives us that opportunity to kind of do it from, take the character from point A to at least till a, you know, like a good range. So I think that that is what was really exciting for me. I had actually initially tested for uh, Bijli's part. Okay. And uh, they had come to me. So, so the first time they had come to me, they had come to me for Kajal's part. But for some reason, I, I was shooting and I was busy and I could not audition for it. So it kind of just like just went by, like time just went by, and I and I forgot about it. And and I think three or four months later, I got another message saying that we are uh, still open for auditioning, but uh, we are auditioning for Bijli. And I said, but why not Kajal? What happened to that? So then uh, I told them that I'll come for an audition, but can you please audition? So I begged them to, uh, you know, test me for Kajal. And then they said that, uh, okay, let us just come back. And I think I think my audition went to Homi. And then they came back saying that, you know what, uh, we don't want to test you for uh, uh, Kajal. Uh, we are good with Bijli. So you, you, can, you, you can play Kajal as well. So I was, I was very happy about that. So, yeah, I mean, that's how it happened for me. Maybe you just manifested the part. For I sure. think I did. I think I, I think I did. So the character Harish was a very, very challenging character for me. Like 
I was actually very, very scared to approach it because uh, from whatever that you could see from the teasers on the trailer, like due to a lack of a better word, he's an addict. And uh, he's always in a very altered state of mind. So it was very tricky to play that. Kabhi kabha taartha kai zaada na lag jai, kabhi kam na lag jai, kabhi saari acting internally na ho jai, ki kuch dikhi nii raha hai. And ye character kahi bhi ja sakte hai because is pe behne ka scope bhoat zaada hoota hai. And I... I haven't done substances in my life and this character was I was supposed to play and imagine how things would be so I had my substitutes I had my chamomile teas my <laughs> uh, few drops of uh, honey and alcohol and uh, a little bit of uh, black coffee to get the jittery feeling and but all this is just the external part of it like deep down he is a vulnerable look and all this is just to mask his vulnerability so it was very important which was a key note from homi that the vulnerability should come out people should see the human side of the boy who probably is lost so it was very challenging and uh, very happy for homi to imagine me in that part because people all often fall on cliches like people look a certain way so they imagine them as a certain way but if Homi could imagine me like that. The least I could do is just surrender fully. I hope you've done that. Of course, that does show in the trailer. And looking forward to the show. And like you said, you know, Homi, with Homi, you can't expect the regular, which is what makes it so exciting. So was there something even you all were not prepared for that took you all by surprise? I say I wasn't prepared for any of it. Because, <laughs> you know, no matter how much you prepare and go and work on your character, when you're mm-hmm. actually in the scene and when you're actually shooting is when it all comes alive and uh, the world that homi has created i think just took me by surprise like it was i thought i i was very overwhelmed to see how real everything is like the moment i entered kajal's room in the haveli it felt so lived in it felt it felt like i've been here before so it makes it it makes it so easy for the actor to just blend in the in in the world that's created for them so i think i think that was exciting and it took me by surprise uh, just the fact that it got easy because of because of that i think the marriage of the urban and the rural worlds that are just you know in the show there is so much going on in in that space he's tried to find like a mid path i think that for me was very that was unfolding for me every day you know just when from our look test from our apple watches to our sat phones to a to that rustic haveli just this whole contrast that was the way it was executed i think that really took me by surprise i remember when i was uh, there is a remote and you know there are these things in the walls that i'm like pressing buttons and uh, it's really fancy and high tech and i'm i'm wearing all these you know i'm in my ghagra choli with my tattoos doing that and that felt really cool actually just just to add on like uh, one thing is to have a very nuanced and a beautiful imagination the other thing is to have the skill level to execute it. Mm-hmm. and homi backs it up by the skill level that he has it's amazing and what was so unique in the entire thing was apart from what you would see on uh, screens people often do not talk about the process but the mm-hmm. process here was so inclusive in every sense of the word and the way everyone was there stuck it was almost like you're doing theater like in in school and college and Like to do yeah. and, and you were just stuck in a place rehearsing again and again practically living the characters for 3 months and the lines between the actor and the character they keep on blurring mm-hmm. so automatically eventually uh, not hesitating to use the word there are magical moments in the show for me for me i think it was homi has a lot of energy and he doesn't get tired mm-hmm. for the first time when i was reading with radhika and he, we were just continuously going on it was 3 hours we were just reading and i was like i, I, I want to break this guy doesn't get tired of what so and on set also he he has so much energy and he want, he is at his uh, level best game and he wants you to come like that so that was very uh, we have to be i have to be at my best you know and he and if he likes something he'll say it if he doesn't like something he'll say it. you have to be prepared for both of it you know so that's something very really. and this is just a fun question so imagine you are approached for a regular task for you what would be your reaction I'll say Don't. flamingo lana zara. Good <laughs> one. Yeah. So that I think you would need it. Yeah. It hasn't happened to me and I think once you associate yourself uh, to uh, to content that are polar opposite to that um, ideology 
I think it, it's difficult to commit to something else. All due respect to every person who uh, work at in any medium that they do. I think with all due respect to them. Something works for someone. Something doesn't work for anyone else. So for me, it doesn't work. अरे मैं तो सास बुई करने आया था मुझे तो ये मिल गया यार मतलब इतना अच्छा एक्टर है देखो मैं तो फंस गया हूँ यहाँ पे यार and also since we are talking about OTT so what are you all watching as viewers not as actors I love watching Succession I haven't uh, seen this the last season uh, so I'm really looking forward to one day just like sitting and binging it check out Barry watch Barry Natasha I don't watch anything <laughs> Except you, for the previews and the premieres, you only I me. I don't watch. I watched Jubilee. I loved it. It was a great show. And finally, of course, we have to ask you. You know, just on a parting note. So, why should uh, your viewers, like people who follow you, watch this show? Just one final line. Because I'm a host, man. Good one. Yeah. But good. My Sala show. It's an entertaining show. So, Zazbo or Flamingo? Look, fifth May onwards, streaming on Disney <coughs> Plus. Hot stars. It's very pulpy. I have. Uh, I haven't done anything like this before, so I think people who have been following my work uh, will will really be um, you know surprised, and they'll be they'll they'll have something new uh, to look forward to from from my my side. So, yeah. yeah, because it's like like everyone is saying, it's massy, it's quirky, it's yeah. stylish, it's deep, it's fun. It'll make you feel it'll you'll have a blast watching it. It'll be a trip. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, and thank you, Natasha. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.